So you want to be able to send email from within SSIS. You want to get an email if, for example, one of your data flow tasks fails, right? Or you want to output a fancy Excel spreadsheet and then send that out every Monday morning to the higher ups, right? You want to be able to take care of that just all fancily uh, within SSIS, some nice little GUI windows, you'd be good, right? It ain't going to be that easy. Um, I'm going to show you in this video why the send mail task is for the most part going to be a useless task. There are going to be specific situations where it would be helpful, but those are going to be few and far between and they will require certain conditions being met on your network, which probably aren't met. Uh, so uh, here we um here we go. Let me create a new pack. I've just got an empty little uh, integration services project here, and I'm going to make a new SSIS package. And you know, the typical way we would want to send email. Maybe we've got a data flow task to transfer data. So maybe this would be like some ETL process. And then we'd have you see it right here. This uh, send mail task. Okay. Uh, so I would drag it over here, and I would make my connector then right click on the connector to say failure and so send an email on fail right so on fail so that's a very common pattern that we want to do notify someone when an email uh, when a process fails another very common scenario let's move that over here uh, another very common scenario would be to have a data flow create a fancy excel report and then we could use the send mail task instead of on failure we would do it on success so we'd say send mail to Bob for example so every Monday morning maybe this is scheduled to run so that it hits Bob's inbox I mean it looks awesome right this looks like it's gonna be great however the send mail task is ultra ultra limited um, let me Trying to think of where I should do this. Um, I'll just do. I'll just drag this one down here. So we'll just isolate one right here, the send mail task. So I double click on it, give it a fancy name and description. I don't know why this can't be on one screen. I'm sorry. Um, here's what we get when you're working with the send mail task we have to have a connection manager involved that is an SMTP connection now you know here's something that I find unusual about this screen there's two things that are missing from this screen can you pick out what's missing I'll tell you I'll go ahead and tell you I'm assuming you probably haven't seen this much but I'll go ahead and tell you that the SMTP connection only defines the server it doesn't f define the account that you send through it only defines what the address of the SMTP server is so what's missing from this screen here how about a password do you see like it says from and you're gonna enter an email address but where's the password that you put in here yeah that's missing okay are we sending a text-based email or are we sending an HTML based email we're sending a text-based email how can I change it to HTML you can't text emails only Ugh. is this ugly or what okay let me show you a little bit deeper here <clears throat> excuse me so for our SMTP connection when we define this it is so so limited the only things that we get it's just ugh, so frustrating the only things that we get to define are the SMTP like I could say smtp.learnitfirst.com however which port am I using do I get to define that I want to use port 995 nope don't get to define that at all I can define down here that I'm using Windows authentication right there Will Gmail accept Windows authentication how about Yahoo or live no no they won't will they hmm interesting so no way to put in plain text passwords 
you either do uh, this is just, oh, crazy oh, I didn't mean to do that I'm sorry um, so really all you can do is it's either Windows off or anonymous yeah okay how many mail servers out there are going to allow you to send mail through them using anonymous relay anonymous requiring no password of any kind to be able to send a email none of them no no they really won't I think uh, so you could pretty much scratch that off the list right the anonymous um, how about Windows authentication are you going to do Windows authentication across the network across the internet like through Gmail no not SMTP. So Windows authentication is really only going to work inside the domain. And this is going to really be the, the solitary case of when you're going to be using the send mail task. When A, your SMTP server is inside the same domain that I'm in. And B, you want to send a text-based email. Those are That's the sole case when you're SMTP server, for example, an exchange server, is inside the domain that you are able to authenticate using Windows. And then two, you want to be able to send a text-based email. So if you are not going to do, if you don't fit both of those criteria, then the send mail task is utterly useless to you. And you're forced then to drop down to a script task, which incidentally is the next video, what is a script task and how we use those. Um, so you're forced to use a script task then to send your email. Okay, so there are two ways to send email in, oh, sorry, in SSIS. So two ways to send email in SSIS. Uh, one, using the crippled <laughs> send mail task, or two, writing your own using the script task which is again in the next video uh, I'll talk a little bit more about what the script task is when it is used however I am not going to get too detailed into using it for mail I am going to show you how to use the script task for sending mail in the next video but I'm going to keep it really really simple because chapter 7 is all about using the script task and we're going to talk about sending fancy emails we're going to talk about sending emails based on files we're going to do all kinds of fancy stuff in chapter 7 with respect to sending emails you really have to be aware of how this works it, it can be as little as two one line of code really why am I it's very it can actually be very simple in the script task you just have to know how to do it so the send mail task Again, very, very weak. I'm not even going to demo it here because I'm not, I don't have a server set up here that I can send email through using Windows authentication. But if I did, if I was in my domain and I was on the learnitfirst.com domain and the account that is running this particular package had a Windows account that it was eligible to send email through and I wanted to send a text email, I could use this. Now let me close with this. Here's the one gotcha with the send mail task. In the last uh, little couple of sentences, I said something very important, and that was it is the account that is executing the SSIS package that must have the exchange account. Not you. If you are over here, like if I am right now uh, inside of SSIS and I hit F5, I'm the one running the package, right? So my Windows account has to have an SMTP account on Exchange and has to be able to send email through that account. However, if I later deploy this uh, to another server and I execute it via a job using SQL Server Agent, well, what account is actually executing the package? Is it the SQL Server Agent's service account? Because then that account has to have the ability to send mail. Or is it a proxy account? And if it's a proxy account, then that proxy account must have an Exchange server account, or uh, rather, uh, it doesn't have to be Exchange. It has to have an SMTP account that can authenticate through Windows. So the send mail task is effectively useless unless you have that one single situation where you are 
on a network that you can authenticate using Windows and you want to use a text-based email. So I tell you what, let's end it here. Let's come back in the next video. Let's talk about the script task and I'll show you how to send just basic emails. I'll use the, the idea of sending emails with the script task as our way of describing it.